So you don't have any more marijuana around you, though? No, I do not. Come on over here, man. Go ahead, face this way, okay? You got any more on you? I smell it. Yeah, I know. Where, where is it at, though? Well, the sweater with the setup was at uh, a yeah. magical house. You had weed on the sweater? No, I do not. Okay, man, I got to ask. I know, it's potent. It's very yeah, potent. It's very potent. I probably thought too, man. Not to fight anybody. Huh? Yeah, I don't hurt anybody. I'm not in yeah, sounds like it. Did you come here on a DUI? No. No. Oh. No, that's why I thought it was wrong. yours. I just in the same no, I, I actually got some pretty big charges, unfortunately. <laughs> What were you doing? Oh, I haven't had it. I was in the corner. Well, Vermi, you know this gentleman? Mm. I've never been arrested. Oh, not, I know. not in Vegas. Well, I don't know. The way I'll you're talking, I thought Jersey. maybe you were your friend or something. <laughs> My charisma. You ever been arrested anywhere before? New Jersey. How long have you lived out here? Three years. You like it? Not anymore. OK, that's a good answer. That must be why you left New Jersey, too, huh? The iron cuffs aren't going to work. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to work either. Good try, though, huh? Houdini. So what'd you bring in? How much? Uh, like 100 plants. Oh, you were growing them at home? Yeah. You've been doing it for a while? Not long. I mean, uh, I came in here to play poker professionally, and uh, kind of had a bad run of cards, to say, and then they shut down everything online, so lost yeah. some thousands in that. Made a few bad decisions. You want to flex? Here I stand. Yeah. So you're going to sell it? Or are so you going to? Smoke it out? Nah, I don't think so. I know what you're doing. OK, man, I'm done playing yes, with the, uh, the belly work, chains. So. All right, cool. Thanks for I giving me a heads up. No belly chains, Right here, all the way to the end, have a seat, and then Sear waving at you. Yeah. Good job, man. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Obviously, he's been smoking because you could smell it on his breath. He had a really strong smell. We went ahead and tried to belly chain him, but <laughs> he it's possible he could slip him off. Yeah. So we're going to expedite him through because of his disability. So he grows marijuana, basically. There was a, a search warrant, and our narcotics unit uh, asked for me to go out there. And I uh, made, made contact with him. Did he have the uh, whole cultivating setup with the lights and the correct and the fertilizer mm -hmm. and the drip system? Right. And several, several rooms in the house. And you said a total of how many plants? I think there was uh, close to 100. 100? Wow. Sean, what do you think's gonna happen now? Uh, I don't know. Well, the fact that they had the red car carpet treatment, they had the uh, FBI, DEA, and uh, God, let's see, FBI, DEA. Oh yeah, and the SWAT, SWAT team come in. That was your favorite, wasn't it? Yeah, you know, that's when I really started to feel special. That's that's mm. what I knew that I that I I messed up. So you said you moved out here three years ago. Don't they have gambling in New Jersey? Yeah, well, I mean, I wanted to play in the World Series of Poker. Uh -huh. That was the reason why I moved out here. Uh -huh. And uh, what happened was, I don't know, every year, right before the main event, I ended up, like, you know, losing money or doing something stupid right before and uh, never ended up going through. So I always wanted to play in the World Series of Poker. But based on the last events, I think I might just call it quits for the city for a little bit, you know what I mean? Think about going back home? Yeah, I didn't want to tuck my tail back. You got family back there? back there? Yeah. So you pretty much uh, manage very well yeah. being disabled. You know, like I type 55 your... words a minute. Right. I drive a regular car. Do got you? my computer science degree. Yeah. Cool. I just adapted to the smartphone so I can mess with the touch screen now. Yeah. At least you don't give up. You keep going. Yeah. But you just tried the wrong thing this time, I think. Yeah, or, you know. I tried the wrong thing, and I hung out with the wrong person that told me for trying the wrong thing. Oh. Uh, Always my situation. Really? Yeah. Been like that since you were younger, hang out yeah. with the wrong kids? You know, I'm too smart to actually, like, screw up on my own, but uh -huh. not quite smart enough to uh, hang with the right people that aren't going to, like, you know, throw you under the bus whenever they can. So if you had a choice to do something else in life, uh, what would you One do? million percent. I like digging holes, but I can dig myself out. The only hole you can't dig yourself out of is the grave. All right. It was very nice meeting you. I'm sorry I had to be under these circumstances. <laughs> well, we'll get you through as soon as we can, OK? I feel you. All righty. Kicking, spitting, biting, what's he doing? We took him in for disorderly conduct. He's very intoxicated. He caused a disturbance uh, on the casino floor. So we took him into custody, and he goes up and goes down. It's hard to read him. 
It's all my instructions, okay, sir? You grab my glasses? Yeah, we're gonna get them. Thank you. Really? <laughs> He's got glasses in the back yeah, seat still. Glasses. Oh, really? This one. No, you got all my drugs. Christopher, got your glasses. You when you're done, on my face. When you're done, we'll get them on there. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Get a get. No, no, no. You need something to pull look that up down. and face the wall. It doesn't. It look doesn't, up and face the wall. It does not pull down. It does not pull down. Listen to him, Christopher. It does not pull down. You need something to pull down on that. You need something. I'm being to pull very down gentle, on. Christopher. No, 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 no. Listen, I'm, that's, I'm telling it's you. It's coming off, okay? You're gonna you break my. No. Okay, just relax your hand, okay? My hands relax. Don't just worry, relax. my hands right. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm I'm gonna get crazy. There you go. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get crazy. I'm actually doing this for your protection if you wanna know the truth. <laughs> Thanks for protecting me, buddy. Uh, well, really? Really? How much is this gonna cost me? You're gonna get out of jail for free if you don't mess this process up. I little, gotta go. Uh, little, I gotta go. I gotta go. A little time to sober up, and we'll fingerprint you and get you out of here. What time? We have a, uh, I gotta work at five. You may get out by then. It's gonna depend on your actions, okay? Because we can delay your OR as well. No, 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 no. Okay? So I listen have, up. I... If you're not causing any commotion, we're gonna get you processed. I we'll get you out of here. Up. You'll get out of. You'll get out of jail for free. We'll have, have you fill to, out a form and you'll be out. I have to All right? work at five. Okay. I have to work at five. Okay. You might make it. Let him cool down for a little while. Extremely, extremely intoxicated. Yeah, yeah I'm a little surprised he made it. I, I honestly thought he was going to end up in the chair, but uh, we'll see if he makes it the rest of the way. Yeah, he did a great job. Thank yeah. you. Yep, thanks. What exactly happened with this guy? While walking to the casino, we actually uh, overheard a, a loud conversation between him and a female. We noticed that he was holding money in his hand. Well, she starts screaming out, give it back, give it back. As we approached him, we trying to calm him down. She calmed down immediately. Explained to us it was a robber and they knew each other. He jumped back, started yelling and screaming, flaring his arms around. Um, called, pretty much caused a, a disturbance great enough for them to stop gaming, to actually stop the function of the casino. Right. So um, at that time, he jumped his arms up in an aggressive manner, and I actually had to take him and actually force him to the floor. The sad part is that he's a blackjack dealer at another casino, so he should have known better, but I guess he'll learn from this experience. You'd think he's dealt with people like himself before then if he's right. uh, a dealer, so yep. good. All right. I'll go home and game you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my needs. I don't wanna.